Good morning, viewers, and welcome to my program. My name is Alajibiasu One Chodon from the station of Unity Star TV Africa, US TV Africa, the whole of Africa, the spirit of Africa. Uh, quickly, before I proceed deeply into the program, I want to be sure that you are having a very good sound from wherever you are watching me and equally to be sure that you are having a good image. Confirm to me that you have a good image and you have a very good sound so that we can have a effective production. Because of the recent change, a uh, climatic change and uh, the, the, the uh, return of people, the network seems to be shocked and uh, we are having relatively uh, poor network condition around this environment. This is a challenge and uh, we are on top of the situation to addressing uh, uh, the, the, the problem. So if you are watching us, wherever you are watching us from, quickly let us know, uh, I, I mean, the level of your reception there. Do you have a good sound? Do you have uh, a good picture? Are you getting us uh, live correctly with good sound and a good uh, image? Let us know that before we continue. While we are waiting to continue, I equally, I don't know, I have been guided by my spiritual mentor, not to say unfortunately, it has always been fortunate. Uh, it has always been lucky. Uh, no day is an unlucky day, and no day is an unfortunate day. Every day in my life is fortunate, and every day in my life is a lucky day. I've never been unlucky, and I'll never be unlucky. But yesterday and today are filled with activities that are really not in time with my feelings. I'm not truly happy about uh, uh, the happenings between yesterday and today. Apart from the incidents of uh, the mother of uh, one of our royal mothers yesterday, another sad thing that I want to talk about this morning is uh, my, uh, I mean, the attitude of uh, some of our brothers uh, from Kogi is uh, that are online uh, as content creators. Please, I want to advise you. I want to guide you. I want to counsel you that you should be careful the things you say in the name of content creation. Yes, it is normal for you uh, to do things, say things, dramatize, uh, and use all available means online to generate traffic on your page or on your timeline or on your blog. But please, traffic generation is not insanity. Traffic generation is not madness. Do not lose your sense of morality in the name of content creation. I don't want to start mentioning your name. Doing so will be glorifying you. Uh, your aim is to make your name popular. That is why you say some of those things. So me coming here to mention that Mr. A, B, or C say this or that or did this and that, it's, it means glorifying you and helping you to achieve this aim that is not genuine. We can help you promote your page, fine. We can advertise your, your page, fine, and see that people should follow you. But not when you do wrong things. We don't, we, I won't mention you because you, you did the wrong thing. No. But, of course, as I am talking to you that is involved in what I am going to talk about, will know that you are the one I am talking about. Please, you have the, the, the license to say what you want to say and how you want to say them. But be guided by two things. Do not use offensive words in popularizing your page. Do not insult anybody in the name of creating content. And the most important thing that I want you to be careful about, none of you should talk about His Royal Majesty, the Atai Gala, Agabaibu. What are you, I listen to some of you talk about his Majesty, I, I, I wonder the homes you come from, the type of training and upbringing that you have from your houses, 
How can somebody just come from somewhere, got high on something, and begin to talk about his majesty as if you are talking about an ordinary person? The stool and office of Atai Gala, Agarabaidu, is sacred. Atai is not just an ordinary king. No! He is the mediator between the living people and our ancestors. There are many things about Anga Bible that are not meant to be said on the public domain. If you insult your parents at home, don't dare insult his majesty. Somebody will stand up and say, why did that I do this? Why did that I do that? Why did that I say this? Why did that? In what capacity are you saying that? Who authorized you? Who are you? What? In, like, no, the question is this. In what capacity are you questioning the authority of Atta? You are an ordinary person and nobody. And therefore, you lack the audacity, you lack the authority to question the action or words of Atta. You don't have the right to, to question Atta in what he did or in what he said. Atta Gala, His Royal Majesty, is an authority. Apart is a traditional authority. He is a spiritual authority and he is a legal authority. He is the custodian of the Igala culture and tradition. He is the supreme, the highest authority in Igala native and authority. Traditional authority. No, nobody again, apart from God Almighty, supersede Atai Gala. So who are you to question the actions of Atai Gala? Because this is becoming, it is, it is becoming unbecoming. At, uh, in, uh, in the initial stage, when some of you were insulting us and insulting other persons and, uh, and, and, and elders that are, were supposed to call you to order were celebrating you and look at them and sympathize with them. You are also so used to unguided utterances that you don't even know which is right and which is wrong. You don't even know who should, who should be spoken against and who should not be spoken against. You talk about anybody, anyhow, because you felt nobody can question you. Because the social media is a free space. Then it now go to the palace. Go to the palace. If you are a freeborn of your father, if you are a son of your father, go to the palace and tell his majesty what you are saying online. Talking is free. Talking is cheap. But the consequence is not cheap and it's not free. As from today, as from today, Dabad will have taken it long enough and will have been patient enough because fathers are known to be, uh, I mean, patient and uh, uh, full of endurance. But we will not take it again with anybody that insults his royal majesty. It's not only when you tell an elderly person that you are stupid that is an insult. There are some things that you say about an elder that is an insult and an aberration. Someone will say, hey, why, do, why, 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 why are you addressing this matter in English? I'm sorry, I'm not on the same pedestal with you on the social media. My actions on the social media are guided by law. I have a standard that I maintain on the social media. It negates the contract I have with my business partners to speak in a the language they don't understand unless I'm going to translate. And this is a live production that I cannot transliterate. So I am banned to speak in English because of my, business, my recent business partners. They need to hear what I am saying. So I must speak in English. And if for any reason I'm going to speak in any other language apart from English, I must transliterate. And I'm sure you all understand English. I am using this avenue to warn you, to advise you, to counsel you, to guide you, that if you insult your parents at home and they don't say anything, even without your parents saying anything or showing any anger, you are invoking the wrath of God on yourself. You are inviting cause on your head if you talk to your own parents, not to talk of his royal majesty, the Atai Gala, Agarabaidu. No! Even, apart from even Atta, you don't have that dirty right to insult any elder for whatever reason. It's uncultural. It's not part of our tradition as Africans to talk rude to elders. We don't do so in Africa. It's on Africa. It's on culture. 